3D Disney, and this is the Cheshire Cat acrylic nail art tutorial. So begin by creating an overlay on the nail with black acrylic, and I'm not completely worried about covering it up all the way to the tip, but you want to go almost all the way down. And you want to keep this as pretty thin too because you don't want it to get too thick with the 3D art on there. And now I'm going to super gently file it just to make sure that the surface is even. You want to be careful not to file it all the way off though. So now I'm going to start sculpting and I'm going to be using sort of like a dark pink, almost sort of purpley color, like a berry color. And I'm going to start by the top of his head. And as you can see, I pushed my brush in to create those little like flicks up of fur that he has. So this is the very top of his head. It's kind of hard to tell for you to see what I'm working on right now, but that's just the very top of his head. So now I'm going to work on the rest of his head and face. So I'm going to add a lot more acrylic underneath. And his head kind of goes up all the way to the edges where his cheeks are. So you want to make sure that you put in all that you need. So then once you got where you want like the bottom of his jaw to be, make sure you square that off so that there's a nice little ledge there. And then cover up the tip with that same dark pink color. You do want to leave that little ledge as I mentioned just so that you can tell where his head ends and his body starts. So now I'm going to be sculpting the stripes of his tail. And I'm going to say right now that my stripes were not perfect. I did fix them later on and you'll see how I did that. So don't be too worried if they're perfect at this step because they probably won't be if you have the same luck I do. So now I'm going to be adding just tiny beads of that same dark pink color up for his ears. So you just add them and then you like push down in the middle almost like you're creating a petal of a flower. So now I'm going to be using white paint and I'm going to be painting his smile. And if you wanted to make sure that this stayed intact after you add like his lip area around his smile, you would probably want to put a layer of top coat on before you continued and let that dry. I did not however do this. Um, but then add little lines all across for the teeth. And now, as I mentioned, with a lighter pink acrylic, we're going to be forming his lips around his teeth. And the monomer can almost erase the acrylic paint that we use to paint his mouth or his smile. And so if you want that to last, you're going to need to cover it up with top coat. I just fixed mine and it worked out perfectly fine. But if you wanted to make sure it stayed how it is, you're going to want to add some sort of protective layer on it. So I'm doing this in small beads, several small beads, as you can tell. I'm not trying to just sculpt the entire mouth in one, in one bead, just because if you do it in small beads and you're not going to have it set before you're ready, it's going to, it's going to be a little bit more time consuming maybe, but you're probably going to end up with a better final product. And so then I'm going to do his lower lip. see as you can kind of see there just a little bit his teeth are starting to look a little bit less white and a little bit more purple that's because I'm washing away the white basically
So now I'm going to be filling in the lighter stripes of his tail. And as I mentioned, the purple, the darker purple color, darker pink color of my stripes wasn't perfect. And so as I'm forming this, as I'm watching it and looking at it and I'm thinking this does not look right. What can I do to fix it? I did finally realize that the tail was just too straight looking and that it needed some help. So I went through and I fixed that. And so I just took and in my lighter pink color, I just started redoing the stripes where they needed to be because they didn't look right. And so as you can see, I, I made it so it curved down the side of the nail just a little bit right there. And I'm not too worried right now if it lines up well with the darker color because I can always fix that too. I'm making his tail look a little bit thicker right there and I'm fixing the way the tip of his tail looks. So now I'm going to be using that lighter color, adding a little bit in his ears, and then adding just some rough stripes on his chest. I'm, I don't need them to be too perfect, I just want them just to sort of appear like he's got stripes. And now I'm going to be fixing the darker stripes. So just go through and fill in where you need more of the darker color. I'm going to be adding another bead of the darker color to his forehead just to add some depth between his ears and his and the little tufts of hair just to add a little more dimension and now I'm going to be adding another bead of that darker color right on his upper lip for his nose so I guess it's not his upper lip I guess I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it would be that area of his face and then two yellow beads for his eyes and sorry, I'm kind of off camera right there. So now I'm going to be using that acrylic paint just to touch up. So just take a really thin brush and paint the inside, as you can see. And if you wanted to before, you wouldn't have had to paint his mouth or his teeth at all. You could just do all of this part of it later, like right now, after you've got his mouth sculpted with the other acrylic, so you wouldn't have to really be doing it twice. But I thought it kind of helped to see where his mouth was. And I'm going to set a little highlight inside each ear. And now fix up the stripes in his teeth. Well, that doesn't really make any sense, but the, the teeth separators... Then add a little line underneath his nose, two nostrils, and three whiskers, while well, three whiskers on each side. And then add his pupils too with a little dot. And eyebrows. So now I'm going to be using glossy tab coat over the black background. and a matte top coat over my Cheshire Cat. And you're gonna to wanna to focus your top coat um, on the areas you use the acrylic paint. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Um, please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to check out the rest of this little series and I will see you in my next video. Bye.